So the crap, it's Thursday, April 11th. I'm JP Mistanza, and this is Puket Extra brought to you by PSD Windows and Doors. Now here's the news you need to know. Phuket Zoo is being ordered to not use the baby elephant ping pong to perform work, namely performing tricks for tourists until his health has recovered. The inspection follows an online campaign by animal welfare group moving animals to have the elephant moved to an ethical sanctuary which was gaining international momentum and press coverage worldwide. The two-year-old elephant named Ping Pong, not Dodo, as previously reported, he was inspected by Phuket livestock officials last night, and they say that he is underweight. The elephant otherwise has been provided enough food and water by the zoo. More checks are being done to make sure he's not suffering from an infection or a digestive problem, but the zoo is being ordered to not use him until his health has recovered. Another check is scheduled for next month. Driving on Phuket's roads can be dangerous, especially as the island enters the seven days of danger this week with the Thai New Year of Songkran approaching. But one accident in Chalong yesterday seriously hurt two people while two chickens were dead at the scene. The accident happened at about 6.50 p.m. yesterday on Chao Phao West Road as police found three men injured too seriously along with three cockerels believed to be used for cockfighting where, who were found dead. Reports say that a motorbike with a sidecar was heading north on Chao Phao West Road and in trying to overtake the vehicle in front, they drove into the oncoming lane and collided head on with another motorbike. An investigation is now being conducted before relevant charges are filed. A fire that broke out at the massive Central World Shopping Complex in Bangkok last night has claimed the lives of two people while over a dozen others are recovering at local hospitals in the Big Mango. The Bangkok Post reports that the fire broke out at about 5.40 p.m. yesterday on the 8th floor of the mall, with reports saying that the blaze was put out 30 minutes later by Bangkok firefighters, but by then it was too late as 15 people were admitted to local hospitals for smoke inhalation. Five witness eyewitness accounts say that two people were seen jumping from the 8th floor of the complex as thick black smoke billowed out from the area with explosions being heard as it all happened. Reports say the two people were Central World staff members. An investigation into the cause of the blaze is now underway. Puget Extra, I'll be right back after this. Visit us in Patong or Inc. in Asia.com. Welcome back to Phuket Extra. A maximum of five years in jail and or a 100,000 baht fine, that's the punishment for anyone who violates a police crackdown on the posting of photos and videos of quote, indecently dressed women and transgenders while celebrating the Songkran festival. The warnings were announced yesterday by police saying that violators would be punished under Section 14 of the Computer Crime Act, pushing to strictly enforce the technology laws during the Thai traditional New Year coming up this weekend. And they say they will be intensifying their surveillance during the long holiday from April 12th to April 16th. In recent years, photos and video clips classified as indecent have made the rounds online, including one infamous incident in Pattaya's Walking Street. And police say they will prosecute to the fullest extent of the law, not only those who publish any obscene images, but also those who commit the acts in public. With many speculating that Big Pharma was behind last week's police raid of a foundation that hands out medicine made from the marijuana plant to patients for free and arresting one person. The Kao Kwan Foundation, headquartered in Supamburi province, a respected civic group that advocates for traditional farming and sustainability practices, their officers were raided last Wednesday by anti-narcotics officials who led police in seizing nearly 100 marijuana plants, medicines, and equipment used to extract cannabis for oil, which is given free to patients with epilepsy, cancer, Parkinson's, and a host of other diseases and ailments. 
An assistant who was there at the time was also arrested. And the chairman of the foundation, Dai Cha Siripatra, a noted folk healer around Thailand, he bailed his assistant out, although he faces charges himself over illegal possession of marijuana, which he has applied amnesty for since he is a folk healer and allowed to possess them for me medical purposes. The thing is, the raid came within the 90-day amnesty period for his and his foundation's application request to possess the medical marijuana legally as bound by the amended Narcotics Act. Either way, Dei Cha, who was in Laos for the past week, he spoke to reporters today saying he believes distributing cannabis oil extracts to patients with cancer, Parkinson's, and other diseases is a moral act. Although he was mum on the allegations made by several, including the Deputy Minister of Agriculture, the anti-narcotics officials were spurred on by major pharmaceutical companies to go after the foundation and others of their like. An allegation authorities deny. And that's it for Phuket Extra brought to you by PSD Windows and Doors. For safe, secure, and soundproof windows, visit pvcphuket.com. If you're watching us on YouTube, click that subscribe button to check out all of our future videos. If you're watching us on Facebook, give us a like on the Phuket News page. From all of us here at the Phuket News Center, thank you for watching and until tomorrow, Stay classy, Phuket. Phuket Bike Week 2019, Asia's biggest motorcycle event, will take place April 12th to the 14th in Patong Beach and April 19th to the 20th at the Phuket Boat Lagoon. Mm -hmm.